hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to consume web API into ASPX web form pages to bind data into drop down list radio button list and bulleted list dynamically from database and here we got the final output notice the header tags consume web API into web form to bind data dynamically into checkbox list, bulleted list and radio button list. This is a checkbox list, ASP.NET and the second column is a bulleted list and the third one is a radio button list. And this is a web API. I have consumed this CNAME column into these three controls. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in Web API, first we will check the table in SQL Server Management Studio. The table name is a country and this country table contains two columns, CID and CNAME. Now my aim is I want to bind the CNAME column into ASP.NET controls uh, checkbox list, radio button list and bulleted list using web API. So let's write the coding part. For this video tutorial I am creating a new web API application go to file new project and from the web templates I am selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I am using 4.6.1 the application name is Call web API into web forms. Click OK. And from the ASP.NET templates, I'm selecting the web API. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. First, in this project, I'm adding ADWord.NET entity model. Open Solution Explorer right click the project name add I'm selecting ADO.NET entity data model let's give some meaningful name to this item the model name is the country click OK and from the model contents I'm selecting the first option EF designer from database click next let's create a new SQL server connection I'm adding my SQL server name After adding SQL server name, now I am selecting the database name. The table I have created in this sample DB, so I am selecting the sample DB. After that, click text connection. It succeeded. OK. OK. And here we got our connection string. And the connection string name is a sample DB entities. And I am saving this connection string in the web.config file. After that, click next. Now let's select the table object from the selected database and expanding the tables folder as well as dbo. Our table name is a country table. I'm selecting that one. Our table name is a country table from the sample db. So I have selected the country. Click finish. And the entity model is added to our project. After adding entity model, now next open solution explorer, minimize the references folder. Now let's add the web API controller in this controllers folder. Right click the controllers, add, select the controller. Now I am selecting web API to controller empty, add. The controller name is um, get country is my web api controller name click add and here we got our api controller get country now in this api controller first i am adding the method public i http public i http action result get uh, country list is a method name now in this get country list method name i am adding my connection string name which is a sample db entities sd is an object new sample db entities 
after that declare a variable and results is equals to sd dot country subject dot to list method then a return ok method in this ok method i am adding the results that's it we have written the code to get the country names from the country table in this api controller now before consume this web api into web form page first we require this web api url so for that let's browse this api google chrome and here we got the default output of the project which is a home page now i require the web api after the domain name i'm adding forward slash api forward slash the controller name is a get country copy that one and i'm pasting in the url enter and here we got the results of the web api controller which contains a country table column id cid and cname now let's call this web api into web form page after that we'll bind this cname column into radio button list checkbox list and the bulleted list stop debugging open solution explorer select the project right click the mouse add i'm adding web form the item name i'm adding call web api web form click ok and here we got the source page of this newly created web form page now between this form and due tag i'm adding I'm adding center tag. Between the center tag, I'm adding the headings. Consume web API into web form H3 binding data dynamically into checkbox list radio button list and the last one is a bulleted list bulleted list after that I'm adding horizontal line now after the horizontal line I'm adding a table element which contains a border is equals to 1 I'm adding border to the table then tr between this tr I'm adding the table headers the first table header is a, a checkbox list let's copy this one here and paste here this is the header which is the first column table header for the second column I'm adding bulleted list And the last column I'm adding radio button list. After that, I'm adding another TR, the TD columns, TD, and the last TD. In this first TD, I'm adding the checkbox list, open toolbox. Uh, from the standard folder, I'm selecting the checkbox list. Then the second TD. I'm adding the uh, bulleted list and the third column third TD is the radio button list after adding these three controls in this table element next right click the mouse select the view call now in this code behind first I'm adding to consume the web API, I am using HTTP client class. So for that, I am adding a namespace using system.net.http client. 
after that in the page dot event i'm adding i enumerable in this i enumerable the out t type we are getting the t type of objects from the table name the table name is the country let's add that one country let's create the object is equals to now now let's implement the http client to consume the uh, web api hc is equals to new http client hc dot base address is equals to new uri method and this uri i am adding um, our web api url between double quotes variable consume api is after we got the base address let's consume that api uh, hc dot get async method and the get async method takes a string parameter the requested api controller name i'm adding after that consume api dot wait method after we consume the api now let's read the data variable read data is equals to consume api dot result property if read data dot is success status score here the if condition if the data is read successfully that data i want to display so for that i am declaring a new variable display data is equals to read data dot um, content dot read as async in this async i am adding i list the type of elements we are adding country the table name so ntry country And now, object this object is equals to display data dot read result. Now let's bind this object into. First, I'm adding the checkbox list, which is a checkbox list ID. Then data source. The data source we are getting from this i enumerable object. So I'm adding this object here. Then checkbox list one dot data text field is equals to the column name from the country table is C name from the country table. I want to bind the C name column. So let's add that one C name semicolon checkbox list. checkbox list one dot data bind method now let's consume now let's bind the data into a bulleted list bulleted list one which is a bulleted list id dot data source again i'm adding the object name of the i enumerable bulleted list one dot data text field is equals to the column name is a c name bulleted list one dot data bind method then the last one is a radio button list one dot data source is equals to object radio button list one dot data text field is equals to Let's add the column name, C name, semicolon, and the last we have to bind the data. Um, radio button list one dot data bind method. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. First, we have created the ADO dot net entity model. Then. We have added the API controller to our project. In this API controller, 
we written the code to fetch the, the columns from this country table then we have added the web form page in this web form source page I have added the three controls checkbox list bladed list and radio button list inside this table element and last in the code behind we consume the web API to bind the CNAME column from the country table. Now it's time to check the results on the browser Google Chrome. And here we got the final output. And notice the header tags consume web API into web form to bind data dynamically into checkbox list, bulleted list, and ready button list. This is a checkbox list, ASP.NET. And the second column is a bulleted list and the third one is a radio button list. And this is a web API. I have consumed this CNAME column into these three controls. That's it.